Many parents have started defending the environment in their own backyards. Mom's Clean Air Force has united their efforts. I live about 30 minutes north of Pittsburgh in Butler County. And this area has a lot of rolling open spaces along with shopping centers and things like that nearby. It's a typical suburban area. We're very fortunate to live here in the community of Stony Brook in East Orlando. It is a middle class community and it's very family oriented. And the schools are great. The reason you move to the suburbs, the reason that you move to residential areas is the safety and knowledge that you'll be around other houses and other PIDs and not have to worry about your proximity to something that could cause cancer in your children. I have two boys and um, one is 14 years old and the other is 12 years old. We're very active, my kids are in sports and I'm their biggest cheerleader for sure. I became concerned about fracking when it came to southwestern Pennsylvania. I remember reading about it happening in Washington County here in southwestern Pennsylvania. And I remember thinking to myself, my gosh, this is really kind of disturbing. These people are living in these areas and we really don't know what this industrial activity, how it's gonna impact them. We live close to a power plant, the Curtis Stanton power plant that uses natural gas and coal to generate power. It's just a little bit over a mile from my home. And I'm a water resources engineer. I'm also um, an artist, an environmental activist, and a mom. My daughters, um, I have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old, Alana and Valeria, and they love to play outside. But I'm concerned when they're out there playing because I, I don't know what's coming out of that power plant and how it could be affecting their health. I have seen and I've heard about more and more kids in our community getting sick with issues such as cancer. Two classmates of my daughter's passed away from DIPG, a very rare form of brain cancer. So we're really concerned about the impacts of air pollution on their lives today. So that's why I got involved with the Moms Clean Air Force. This is an industry like no other. So when drilling comes in, what happens here in Pennsylvania is many people own their, what's called their mineral rights. What people are able to do is they can lease out their mineral rights to oil and gas. And they're exposing the community to all of the negative health impacts that are happening from it. So it divides communities. The well pad is located very close to Emerling Park, which is one of the parks that we use all the time in our community for soccer games and softball games. My children have both played on those fields. Uh, there's a wonderful little creek uh, just at the bottom of the hill from the well pad where my children have spent numerous hours playing with crayfish and having a good time in the water. I found out um, it came to my community three days before our school board was going to vote on signing a lease. And uh, it was a shocker. I didn't know it was coming to my community. And the only way that I found out is because it was going to be voted on. As parents, we banded together and we created a petition and got 900 signatures within those three days saying, mm, we just don't think this is safe to be near our children where they go to school. There have been explosions uh, related to oil and gas, and so that is a real concern from pipelines, from all of the infrastructure and things around it. We asked the school board to vote down the lease, and thankfully they did. But we knew that it wasn't gonna stop that well pad the part that is above ground, we knew that that would not stop it from happening. Uh, it was sighted a half a mile away from our children's schools. Many people are just as concerned as I am about where this well pad's placed, its proximity to schools and parks and our children. You know, a lot of kids these days have a lot of asthma and upper respiratory issues that people are very concerned about. My own son has had um, issues with um, wheezing and upper respiratory things that um, make me very concerned about where it's placed. A recent investigation by the local NPR affiliate about a year ago, they found that the biggest polluter in this area by far is the Curtis Tanto coal power plant. 
and they had about 5 million pounds of air releases between 2012 and 2016. They've also had some violations of the, both the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act. With regards to the Clean Air Act violations, they were for particulate matter or, and carbon monoxide. Even if other chemicals, hundreds of other chemicals, are under EPA limits, moms like me are concerned about their combined, their synergistic toxicity, how that's gonna affect our children's health. We know that many of these chemicals by accumulate in fatty tissue and they can cross the placenta, making our kids sick even before they're born. As parents, we uh, continue to band together and that's extremely important to find your support system. I would say the community has been very receptive to the idea that industrial processes belong away from residential areas. What we did is we educated ourselves. We, each of us had our own roles, and we had somebody who was very good with uh, politics, you know, who showed us how to meet with legislators, with our local elected officials. We had somebody who was really good with media. We had somebody who understood law, who understood the local ordinances. My role was the science role. So I love science, and I dug in. I wanted to understand fully how this would impact uh, my children. And so what I did is I went to very reliable sources. I went to what was at that time published in peer-reviewed studies. I wanted the information to say it was safe. I wanted that because I didn't, I was fearful of what the implications would be. But all I found were issues that were, a, concerning um, adverse health impacts. What I found out that really brought me to my knees was that there is benzene found in and around the well pad. Now benzene is a potent neurotoxin but also causes childhood leukemia. My son had leukemia when he was three years old, not related to oil and gas. But I made the promise between me and God, that if he got through it, okay. Then I would protect. <sighs> that I would work to protect other children. My two daughters, Alana and Valeria, they have been to D.C. with me. They have met their congressmen. They have seen democracy in action, how common people like us, common folks, can go and get and meet with our congressmen and talk about our concerns. Before I joined the Mom Clean Air Force and other environmental activism groups, I was in deep despair over the state of the planet. But thanks to organizations like Mom's Clean Air Force, now I have some hope. Um, I feel like action is an antidote to despair and depression. And I feel that democracy is alive and well and we just have to use it. I don't believe that anybody has an agenda to go out and hurt children. I want to believe better in humanity the thing that holds me in there is my support group. Um, I have a wonderful support of people that I work with, moms, and also I have a large support in within my community. We live here. This is our home. Um, we don't have the luxury to just pick up and move away and, and uh, distance ourselves from this. We have to be responsible with what we're doing, and I think a lot of people in the community feel very strongly that that's uh, really important. So this, this is still a work in progress. It's a painting showing my two daughters outdoors in a very dry area, as you can see. And, but there's a little flower growing, and it shows hope that we can stave off the most uh, catastrophic prediction from climate change. You can see also the power plants in the background and how that's gonna impact their lives in the future. I'm titling it, um, Where Will the Children Play? Change is not gonna happen in a vacuum. Change can only happen when enough of us protest, march, call, and demand our elected officials 
to be accountable for pollution and to put our kids' health and the health of the planet first. <laughs>